Hey what's going on everybody, Jason here, and welcome back to another Black Ops Cold War Zombies video. Today I have the complete guide to Zombies Onslaught for you all. Today on November 1st, Xbox and PC players can finally play Zombies Onslaught. So I figured I would make a video explaining Zombies Onslaught for all the new players who will be playing Zombies Onslaught for the first time. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Zombies Onslaught is a very interesting game mode, it is zombies on the multiplayer map. Maps. However, it is not like traditional round-based zombies. Rounds are replaced with surges in Zombies Onslaught. When you spawn into Zombies Onslaught, you will notice an orb power meter to the left-hand side of your screen. You have to fill that meter in order for you to move on to the next surge. For the first two surges, zombies will contribute 10% to the orb's power. However, as the surges get higher, the zombies will contribute less to the orb's power, until eventually zombies will only contribute 1% percent to the orb's power. In addition, in the later surges, plague hounds will begin to spawn in, and plague hounds will also contribute to the orb's power. When plague hounds first appear, they contribute 11 percent to the orb's power. And just like the zombies, plague hounds will start to contribute less and less to the orb's power as the surges get higher and higher, until eventually plague hounds will only contribute 4 percent to the orb's power. And when you fill the meter to 100 percent, the surge will end. So now that you know how how to complete a surge, what happens when you do complete a surge in Zombies Onslaught? You'll notice that where you and the orb are located are in the middle of a safe zone. If you go outside the safe zone, you take damage. So when you complete a surge, the orb will move and the safe zone will follow it. Eventually, the orb will stop in a new area of the map and a new surge will begin. Now moving on, every three surges starting at round three, an elite will spawn in. And these are what are known as elite surges. And on these elite surges, either a Megaton, an Elite Mimic, or an Elite Mangler will spawn in. In order for you to complete the elite surge, you have to kill the elite enemy. And when you do kill the elite enemy, you get some loot. There are a ton of things you can earn from the elite surges in Zombies Onslaught, such as free weapons, ether tools, score streaks, armor, chalices, and a free perk. The free perks are actually guaranteed until you have all the perks. And in some instances, the elite enemy will draw drop intel. And for all you intel hunters out there, this is how you collect intel in Zombies Onslaught. You have to progress in the surges until an elite enemy drops a piece of intel for you. There are three pieces of intel per Onslaught map. In addition, when you complete certain elite surges, you earn chalices. And these are not chalices you earn for pack-punching your weapons, these are chalices that act like a mark of completion. When you kill the elite enemy on Surge 9, you earn the Bronze Chalice. When you kill the elite enemy on Surge 15, you earn the Silver Chalice, and when you kill the elite enemy on Surge 24, you earn the Gold Chalice. And when you earn these chalices, you get a little bit of XP. But again, these chalices only serve as a mark of completion. In addition, the only three power-ups that spawn in on Zombies Onslaught are Insta-Kill, Max Ammo, and Full Power. And this is due to the fact that there is no mystery box, so fire sales won't spawn in, and there are no points for you to earn, so double points won't spawn in. And there are no window barriers, so carpenters don't spawn in. And if I had to guess as to why nukes don't spawn in on Zombies Onslaught, I would have to say it's due to the fact that surges do not last as long as normal rounds in round-based zombies. And those are the mechanics of Zombies Onslaught. You progress in these surges, which are the rounds of this game mode, by filling up the orb power so the orb moves to a new location. When the orb moves to a new location, the new surge begins. And every three rounds, there are elite surges which give you a chance to upgrade your arsenal. And one more thing before I end off today's video, I would be remiss if I did not mention the side game mode to Zombies Onslaught, which is already a side game mode, but I digress, Zombies Onslaught's side game mode of Onslaught Containment. Onslaught Containment is Onslaught on the smaller gunfight maps in Black Ops Cold War Zombies. And since the gunfight maps are already small, the orb is stationary, which means the surges will get higher and higher, and you will not have to change locations. Onslaught Containment is really fun, but it's way more hectic than normal Onslaught. And unlike normal Onslaught, there is one fundamental difference. That difference being the fact that you cannot choose which map you play. When you select Onslaught Containment in the menu, you don't get to choose which gunfight map you play. The game will select a random gunfight map and show you that you're about to play on whichever map the game decides you're gonna play. In addition, there is 
no intel to collect in Onslaught containment. And that, guys, is my complete guide to Zombies Onslaught. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And also, what do you guys think about Zombies Onslaught as a game mode? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments as well. So with that said, thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video and you want to see more, leave a like and subscribe if you're a brand new viewer. Also, don't forget to check out all the links down below in the description so you stay up to date with everything that I do. And with that said, have a fantastic rest of your day or night, depending on where you are in this crazy world, and I'll see you guys next time.